hi friends welcome to code jana this is krishna and let's begin in this video you will learn how to install quant dl in python so let's get started before we begin i'd like to show you quant dl website so that you can learn further from their documentation search quant dl in google search and then click on quant dl documentation and now that you have here you can select the thing that you want to install i want to install it for python and click on installation and authentication as you already have seen that uh, we install several packages via pip install so quantl is no different story we just need to do a pip install quantl and it will be downloaded and installed in our system okay so let's get started click on either powershell or command prompt as per your choice you can navigate to your project let's create a new project folder here and let's call it quantl underscore project okay so there are just so many files here i'm going to navigate to quantil project all right currently there are no files here so let me clear the screen here now you can create a virtual environment in your folder so that you can keep things tidy and if you don't want to install any package globally this is the best way to do it so let's generate our environment with pip install virtual env press enter and you need to wait a while okay so we already have virtual environment package in our system because i've been creating virtual environment for several of our projects but if you don't have virtual environment in your system this is how you install it first next thing we need to type virtual env and then type the name of the virtual environment folder that you want to keep i always choose venv let's press enter all right so it has created the virtual environment let's cross check it all right so venv folder is already there let's cd into venv and check all the library scripts and everything is there now you can install all the packages that you need for your particular project since we are targeting quantil here we need to just cd out of that install and then quantil press enter and there we go now you have quantil installed in your project now how do you know that quantil is successfully installed in your system you just need to do pip show and then the package name which is quantil in our case all right so it has successfully showed us that quantil is at version 3.5 it has also shown that it requires all of these dependencies and again it also installs those dependencies when you do pip install quantil so you don't need to worry about installing them again now that we have created our virtual environment let's activate our environment so we do venv slash scripts and then activate we don't need to type any source or anything like that here we just need to start like that and as you can see it's now written venv that we are currently working in our virtual environment now let's see if pip has installed quantl in our virtual environment or not you have just seen that error message that pip could not find quantl so what happened there well even when you work inside a folder and you do a pip install it installs that particular package globally I'm sure you've come across such a problem many times. You need to be inside that virtual environment and then do a pip install. So I'm going to do pip install quantl. And now it is collecting quantl and installing it in our project folder. So let's wait a while because now the dependencies are actually being downloaded. And it depends on your speed, internet speed, how fast these dependencies download and install. So as you can see, it's installing collective packages. I'll just wait a little more. I'm going to just skip ahead. Okay, and it took a while, but it has successfully installed quantil in our virtual environment. Let's do that pip show quantl again. And this time we are not going to see any errors. It has successfully installed quantil. 
Now let's work inside our Python shell. Type Python and then enter. If you're working inside Ubuntu or Mac OS, you need to type Python 3. And then let's import quantdl. All right, it has successfully imported quantdl. That means, yes, again, a confirmation that quantdl installed. Now I'm going to look at uh, this documentation on what we need to do next. You need to have your API key so that you can work with quantdl data frames. So you need to make an account in quantdl. All right, I have already created my account, but I'm going to log out from here. You need to click on sign up then type your first name last name and then you need to select personal if you're just using it for you know sample projects only you're not using it in production environment if you are then you need to either choose academic or business i've already created an account with personal use after you click next it's going to show you your api key i'm just going to log in and show you where you can find your api key if you did not copy it on first try. So let me type my email address. So you need to click on your profile picture, then select account settings. And then here is your API key. I'm going to change this API key so that, well, you cannot log in. Okay, so let's create a little sample file in our documents. It was supposed to be Quandiel. This is Quandiel installation. So I've created a simple program to fetch this particular data. As you can see, we need to import Quandiel and then you can paste your API key here. And I've taken this particular line directly from their example here. You can set paginate to true or false. Up until you don't actually work with this data, you don't need paginate. You don't need this particular argument then you print that data to see what's in it and now just run this file wait for the data now it is showing me no module named quant dl so let's first of all verify if we are uh, working with the right file it's pip showing it is installing so i'm just going to cd into documents so that it can access that file and that particular environment. I have not created a separate environment, but you can. It becomes easier that way. You don't need to face these errors along the way. Okay, so let's run our file, Python, and then quantdl. Let's wait for the data to come in, and there we go. The data, so here's what we got. All of this data came just by running Quantiel. So Quantiel is very powerful if you want to work with large data sets. And if you combine Pandas with Quantiel, you can work with this data, you can save this data and modify this data according to your project. So that was all for this video. I hope you learned how to install Quantiel and how to successfully create a simple program. Please share, subscribe to this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.